Hi everyone and thank you for coming to listen to this message. This pick a card reading is a message from your higher self to show you your key to finding true and lasting love. I will be doing a relationship reading at some point but this one is for those who are currently preparing for a divine connection. These messages are only a guide to assist you in tuning into your heart's highest understanding at this time. You already know the answers. Close your eyes and meditate on the choices available. Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. Okay, so if you picked pile number one, it looks as if there's been a history for you of giving away your power in relationships. In other words, not being completely and totally yourself and losing yourself somehow and then somewhere along the the journey of the relationship it becomes a problem that was seemingly caused by the relationship whereas it seems that there's been an instability within you for quite some time and it's something to do with not trusting your path not allowing yourself to follow your path and not allowing what my guides are calling the flowering that's been trying to happen in your life for a long time now and I've just been given 15 for some of you it's been about 15 years that you've been resisting this flowering you need to take your power back and that will create relationship harmony it will create um, harmony and peace and balance in the relationships that you develop in the future so what's at the the root of all of this is that you need to embrace your true passion. You need to liberate yourself to be fully and truly yourself. And then you will start to attract in a different kind of love. You need to establish a particular kind of footing, firm footing within your life and within yourself that will allow you to be the match for the kind of partner you're trying to attract at the moment. If you want to attract someone who is secure within themselves and who is stable and steady and not threatened by someone else's success, then you need to, you need to work on becoming that yourself, becoming steady and stable and sure of yourself and not threatened by the calling that is asking you to be bigger. OK, <laughs> that's the way that they're putting it, that you're being asked to be bigger and that frightens you. It's as if a part of you believes you have to be small in order to fit into the container of relationship. But it's actually the opposite. You need to expand fully so that you can attract the right resonant partnership, the, the one that you're actually looking for. And so that you can continue to grow within that partnership. You need to be a bigger version of yourself and you need to attract someone who is also capable of being the bigger person so I hope that makes sense to you right there's a little bit more um so some patterns that are actually influencing your your love life at the moment are that you are aware of some of these issues on some level and I feel you're trying to work them out and so you are having to be a little bit focused excessively focused on yourself some of this will be to do with um how you're looking after your body you might be in doing some sort of training some evaluation of your health routines it's, it's i'm seeing a treadmill so some of you are actually in training for something that that is connected to you know taking your power back so you these things are already starting to come into play for you already and for some of you it will just be quite recent that this has happened that you've been taking stock of your life that you've been waking up to certain truths about yourself and realizing what needs to happen and so in a way although you want this connection you know that you need to be focused on yourself at the moment and and create this new version of yourself and it needs to happen on all levels healthy lifestyle healthy eating exercise being fit being ready in every way possible OK, um, there are other ways that you need to grow in order for you to attract that love in. And one of them is that you need to see yourself as a leader much more. There are ways of leading that are not um, aggressive or threatening or that close your heart down. You know that you can you can still have an open heart. They, 
Again, my guys are talking about flowering and blossoming and flowering and blossoming and asking you to think in those terms rather than, you know, aggressive achievement and accomplishment and all of these things. Allow yourself to unfold fully and to open up fully and you'll attract in the right kind of love because your heart will expand as your life expands. And so your career is definitely going through a change. Some of you who have come to this reading and that is fundamental to your ability to attract love and and I feel that love is going to start to come in when you're almost at the end of that transition with your career because you start to feel really good about yourself and there's good energy around you and you feel like, OK, now I'm complete within myself. And then um, you start to attract someone. For some of you, there might already be someone on the horizon, but they can sense that you're in this phase and they're kind of holding back a little bit, just hanging back, just watching, just waiting. And for some of you, there isn't anyone around, but, you know, you'll know when you're in that energy and you'll know when you're responding to someone from that energy because it's going to feel completely different. There's not going to be that sense of being swamped anymore and being um, taken over by someone who is obediently giving you the experience that you're vibrating out of feeling disempowered because you'll have taken your power back so you can only attract a match who wants you to be empowered. And finally... You need to also allow yourself to embrace something that puts you in a role of a teacher or a leader or someone who is able to guide others to maybe maybe it's literal that you have to create materials for others to help them to show them something to teach them something or it could just be that within yourself you become so strong and secure that others come to you for advice and you're able to teach them and, and to show them things that you've learned on your journey and this could involve writing some things. This could involve writing materials or sharing materials. It could involve a book. It, Whatever it is, it's something that represents the complete flowering of who you are. And you need to let that expression happen because then your heart and your soul and your whole vibration will change and, and break open and you will be ready for love and you'll be sending out that vibration. You're not actually ready. So if you've come to this reading thinking, why isn't it happening? Why isn't it happening? You need to be honest with yourself vibrationally and, um, and, and get your head out of the way. It's going to happen and it's going to be great. OK, I hope that helps you. Bye. OK, if you picked pile number two, your angels and guides want you to know that it's time for you to jump off the wheel. That's your message from the little book of daily guidance. It's time for you to make a change. If you've been going round and round in circles, trying to solve the same problem, asking the same questions, should I, shouldn't I, you're, are you in or you are you out? It's about a job or it's about a home situation or even a, an emotional connection. It's something that you've just been going back to again and again and again. And you keep at the end, it's like at the end of the week or at the end of a particular cycle, you say, right, that's it. I can't do this anymore. I'm done with this. And you're but you're going back round and round and round, jumping on that wheel again and again and again. And it's time to jump off. That's your message. It's time to jump off and to move away from whatever it is that's causing you to just repeat the same pattern and, and keep yourself in this proverbial kind of um, cycle or, you know, it's it's more uncomfortable to stay in that cycle than to just jump off and take a risk sometimes and see what's beyond the cycle. Um, so but at the same time, which seems like a contradiction, you're being told to have patience. So something is waiting to unfold. It's as if you're waiting for something. You're waiting to hear news about something. There's some kind of a, a judgment or a decision or um, a new path that needs to open up first for you to feel able to jump off um, off of this repetitive cycle and into something new. And that hasn't quite happened yet. But you are being told that you are going to receive a victory. You are going to be shown something that you've been waiting for for a while. And that will help you to move on to a new beginning. Um, and you already know in your heart what that is. You already know um what you know what you need to do to help you to make this change but it's just having the courage to really 
Um, go for it. Believe in it. Believe in yourself. Believe that you're not going to fall flat on your face. For some of you, I've just heard undermining. So for some of you, you're in a situation that has been undermining your confidence for a long time. It could be a job that's sort of beneath your capabilities. And, you know, you're in a situation where you feel that the way that you're treated and what's expected of you is is turning you into someone who has a dim view of yourself, is what I'm hearing, the way that I'm hearing it expressed. So, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or a home situation or a job, there's something that's caused you to see yourself in a very different light to the reality. And you're being asked to trust that you can have this new beginning and that when it comes, you are more than capable of handling it, of doing it, of making a big success of it. It's waiting for you. And your your outcome overall is that you will overcome all of these difficulties that you've been going through, difficulties and challenges holding you back, causing you to question yourself. And that's a really great card to have as the outcome, because what it means is that what you're hoping for, in fact, this is a really nice group of cards and a really nice message. And also the angel um, who's connected with this particular pile, because I asked for an angel, for an archangel for each pile, is Archangel Gabriel. So you're being able to trust your creative abilities as well, your ability to um, to have inspired ideas. Maybe you write, maybe you're a musician, maybe you're um, some other kind of an artist, a painter, and someone who just hasn't really been valuing their gifts and the inspiration that you receive. So in other words, you I'm hearing that you are very inspired, that you have been receiving inspiration, not just for the work that you really, really, really want to do, but also to make these changes. And I also feel for some of you, there will be some kind of um, uh, sense of just the right thing coming along at, at the right time, just the right moment, just the right opportunity, if you trust and let go. And some of you, as I said, you already know what that is, but you're just waiting for all the pieces to fall into place. And what your angels want you to know is that you've been inspired to take these steps. So have the courage that they'll inspire you with the right way to to make a success of them and I feel for some of you someone is coming who's going to um, sort of partner with you or help you or someone you can work with collaborate with and I don't mean someone coming to sort it all out for you because that's very much something that you will do for yourself and it will strengthen you and grow you and it's what's being required of you but I feel that there will be someone joining you a bit later on or something magical happening when you take that step when you take the leap it's like that's um saying you know leap and the net will appear okay hope that helps you enjoy and good luck with everything okay if you picked pile number three your message is to trust your intuition trust that you know the answers. This reading seems to be very much about life purpose and following your path. I asked for a guardian um, for an archangel for each pile and the archangel for this pile is Archangel Uriel. And this is all about teaching. This is all about following your life path. And it's, it's about inner teaching, inner tuition, what you understand inside um, about what's right for you. And trusting your intuitive nature, trusting the gifts that you have as well. So this looks like a very spiritual, spiritually focused life path reading. So there's a purpose here. People who've come to this reading, you have a purpose doing some kind of spiritual work. You're possibly, um, you have gifts that you could use to help people, um, you need to be able to trust those gifts more. You need to be able to put yourself in a situation where you'll be available to people, where people will know how to find you. And um, you're being told to appreciate and to use all of the gifts that you've been given rather than hiding them, rather than um, just keeping really quiet about them. You can help more people than you're helping at the moment. And you already know this but you're just um, holding back a little bit. I feel some of you will be clairvoyant. You'll be able to see things. You'll be able to um, 
have visions, possibly dreams, or at least you'll have very clear pictures in your mind about things, about people, about ways to help people, about situations that are happening around them. And you, the thing that's stopping you, that's blocking you is that you're not trusting who you really are. You've sort of forgotten who you are. You've gotten caught up in something else, maybe that's more structured, that's more um, what's expected of you. And that's fine. It's OK. No one is telling you to abandon everything, leave your job, whatever. But you definitely need to be thinking about ways to add more of your real work, yourself to what you actually offer out in the world. You're being asked to have courage to do that. And if you do a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more, you'll find your courage growing as a result of that, because that's all that's holding you back at the moment. Also, I feel like with some of you, there's a need to clear your energy because some of the uh, fears that you have, the needs to hold back, the temptation to hide away, some of that is because of a lot of sensitivity that means that you don't always feel as if you want to even go out and approach people about just regular things. Some of you are quite introverted, quite um, you know, in a habit of, of keeping to yourself and looking after your sensitivity but in quite um, a protective way like not reclusive but just withdrawing a little bit withdrawing whenever you can and for some of us that's a really sane response because you're if you're hypersensitive then the world can be quite can feel quite harsh but you need to learn some sk skills that will allow you to just have a bit more courage to know that you can deal with it you've been given those gifts for a reason and you will be given also the skills that will allow you to use those gifts with more confidence and um, and go out into the world. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be just fine. You're in a transition. I feel as if you're in a transition in lots of different ways. You're being asked to look at um, the way that you eat with um, where who you mix with um, what you do in your spare time and you know and even in the long term what you do for work possibly will undergo a transition that could be happening now for some of you you could be facing that um, that feeling of what I'm doing just doesn't have meaning anymore I need to do something that has more meaning and so this is where you're being encouraged to look inside yourself and be honest about who you really are where you might have gotten a little bit lost and what you can turn around and um, offer to the world instead of what you're doing now. But trust yourself. Don't listen to any of this if it's not what serves your highest good right now. Trust what's in you, but know that there is a shift taking place that's going to lead you into a position where you can share more of your gifts. Okay, good luck with that. Take care.